Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Today is June 21st, 2023, and it's Wednesday. Vladimir Putin today warned that his terrifying new Satan II missile, which are capable of carrying 10 nuclear weapons, will be deployed for combat duty in the near future. They're already there in Belarus. On June 16th, in his speech at a Russian annual economic forum in St. Petersburg, he said that tactical nuclear warheads had already been delivered to Belarus. The missile, evidently, which is over 14 stories tall, I don't, don't know if that's true, but that's what I read, can reach the UK in just three minutes. Putin said that these rockets, these missiles, whatever you want to call them, are going to be put on combat duty. They're, they already are. Это всего лишь один пуск, Борис, а Англии нет. Раз и навсегда. Зачем заигрываться? Другой вариант – погрузить Британию в морскую пучину российский подводный робот-беспилотник «Посейдон». Он приближается к цели на километровой глубине со скоростью 200 км в час. Нет никакого способа остановить этот подводный дрон. Боеголовка на нем мощностью до 100 мегатонн. Взрыв этой термоядерной торпеды у берегов Британии поднимет гигантскую волну – цунами высотой до 500 метров. Такой водяной шквал является еще и носителем экстремальных доз радиации. Пройдя над британскими островами, он превратит то, что от них может быть еще и останется, в радиоактивную пустыню, надолго непригодную хоть для чего. It is said to be the world's longest range intercontinental ballistic missile, capable of striking a target 11,200 miles away, carrying 10 or more Nuclear warheads is enough to wipe out territories the size of England or France in a single strike. Uh, they have said that the one missile could wipe out an area the size of Texas if launched from a submarine, maybe um, from a rocket offshore, would create a tsunami 200 meters high, which is about 660 feet would make the area, um, yeah, radioactive, contaminated for probably decades. About half of the stockpile of nuclear weapons that Russia has is probably these Satan II missiles. With the tsunami and the radiation, uh, three minutes, it probably wouldn't matter if you got to a shelter in time because of the... Uh, 600 plus foot uh, tsunami that would wipe off, cross over the entire country of England. So if you did get to a shelter within three minutes, yeah, you'd probably drown from a tsunami. Many of you probably don't know, but in 2002, U.S. President George W. Bush withdrew from the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty. That is where um, originally each country was only supposed to have one anti-ballistic missile. George W. Bush believed that because of the fall of the Soviet Union, they would not be held accountable or held to that treaty, which is not true. Supporters here in the United States argued that it was necessary in order to test and build a limited national missile defense system to protect the United States from nuclear blackmail by a rogue state. But the withdrawal had many foreign and domestic critics who said the construction of a missile defense system uh, would lead to fears of a U.S. nuclear first strike. Many predicted that the withdrawal would be a fatal blow to the non-proliferation treaty, would lead to a world without effective legal constraints on nuclear proliferation. The New START Treaty, the United States and the Russian Federation are obliged to exchange data on treaty accountable items twice a year. Regrettably, the Russian Federation announced 
um, back in May. Um, actually, it was suspended on February 28th of this year. This article here says that so subsequently, the Russian Federation did not fulfill its obligation to provide updated data in March of this year and is not implementing other key provisions of the treaty. The New START Treaty uh, was an agreement between the United States and Russia Federation on measures for further reduction and limitation of the strategic offensive arms, New START. The latest threat, Putin said, at St. Petersburg, the move was a warning to the West about arming and supporting Ukraine. Recently, the president of Belarus, Alexander Lushenko, said he wouldn't deploy the nuclear weapons unless um, Putin gave the go-ahead, the uh, Soviet Union, the Russian Federation. These newer missiles are loaded with hypersonic glide vehicles. It's a type of warhead for ballistic missiles that can maneuver and glide at hypersonic speeds. Boost glide weapons are generally designed to avoid existing missile defense systems, either by continually maneuvering or by flying at lower altitudes to reduce warning times. The Avangard HGV travels at Mach 27, and it constantly changes course and altitude while it flies through the atmosphere, zigzagging on its path to its target, making it impossible to predict the weapon's location. Here we have an image of the Yars system that has been modified to carry these Satan 2's nuclear warheads. Yeah, they can carry more than 10 or more of the nuclear weapons. And they're mobile, so that would make them harder to track. So that's the latest that's going on. I hope you're prepared. Three minutes or less. Wow. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Yeah, please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.